I'm Candace Einsbar with Colorado Fast Pitch Academy. Today, I will be discussing how to work on proper spin for a screwball. When working on any spin, it is best to work with a lined ball. The line should run up and down the middle of the ball of a four seam grip position. When working on your spin, you wanna make sure that you stand in an open position which in this case can be very complicated because we won't be throwing the ball to where our catcher would normally be. In most cases, practicing snaps or anything else, we would simply stand to the side with our catcher in front of us. But when working on the spin of a screw ball, you actually want to practice spinning the ball to the side. If throwing to an actual catcher, you're going to pretend that she is still right there. But in reality, you're gonna have her right in front of you where you plan to toss the ball. When throwing a screw ball, I recommend the two finger grip. You get an upside down horseshoe shape, thumb and pointer finger next to the seam with the thumb and pinky on the opposing side. Middle finger and pointer finger are together alongside the seam with the ring finger between the middle finger and pinky. In doing a screwball spin, simply start with the two fingers facing towards where the catcher would normally be and make a motion towards the opposing hip. As you do so, rotate your wrist like you're opening a door. As you do this, allow the ball to come off of your thumb towards your catcher where she's actually standing. If done correctly, you will get a spin that we call 1-7. Imagine the hands of a clock. If they were both pointed at 1 and 7, that's the spin that we would be getting. I recommend doing 10 to 20 spins before attempting the actual pitch.